Hello together. In this video I show you how to connect a uh, Vesta Digital uh, with WD MyBook Live Duo. Uh, it's a NAS uh, device, a network access storage uh, device. How to connect this one to your Windows PC. So first we see on the left side that's the Windows 10 Explorer and I want to connect those network drive on as a, a default network device. So so first we connect to our uh, to the interface in Windows uh, in our we go into the, our browser and log into the IP and then we are uh, with, then we are at the uh, interface of Western Digital. So first we start with the user. We create a new user and especially we look for the credentials. So this is a new user ABC and my password is 123 in this case and confirm it password 23. Now we save it and now we go to the shares types. And now we create a new share drive. Those, these are the share drives which you will see uh, when you call the uh, the casted ID for, uh, IP of this uh, network device. So this is the share name. Let's say this is the A10 for in this example because I tested it and uh, other samples. So this the share drive A10. And I want the share user, it's a private access, user access, and I want the ABC user to be, uh, to have connect uh, access to this uh, device. I will see this is a, a locked um, A10 device or share, share folder. Now we go to our, uh, to the, uh, to the command, to the, executing this uh, input command with cmd and then we div uh, we type there the input console net use and then we say uh, the drive uh, letter so this is x uh, double point front slash uh, that's the that's the device uh, we have here the the IP. I may connect it by the IP or by the name of the de device. So the name of the Vesta Digital is under settings. That's the casted uh, casted name on the network or the LAN network. So there's the device name. This is in this case uh, Spiker 25. That's uh, Drive 25. Okay. Now I say backslash backslash uh, device name backslash and now the share folder so this a10 in this case and now we need front slash user that's abc and a space between and then the then the password and it runs successful and when we open the explorer then we see there's the new uh, device connected and now I may copy files on this uh, on this uh, device on in this folder sometimes we get an error a message error message that uh, there's a system error 1219 that you can't connect the device uh, with several um, connections so what you see there is I already connected the, uh, other devices without uh, other connections, uh, folders, network network drives with a without user and password um, combination. Now we check it on a second example. So it's the connection, uh, the share folder A11. And as you see there, I had different different other um, share folders in my list, and those were without uh, without a password and user. This was on my first and combined both. Uh, 
Now I'll show you the system error which came up. Uh, this said, okay, system error, when I connect, tried to connect it, it's 1219. Uh, multiple connections are not, uh, were not possible uh, on the same um, shared device. So I had to delete everything first. And if you if you want to delete it, and f first I show you again. Okay, you may uh, run when you have those devices. You want to connect it at the boot. Then you write there uh, net use, and then the uh, the drive level, and then the device. And you have to expand this um, this command by the user and the password combination but you shouldn't you shouldn't um, combine both with with uh, the credentials and without credentials this made a problem on my system so either both or not both uh, with this uh, password and if you ha had already uh, connected it, then you take the delete command. Either you uh, you uh, delete or disconnect it manually with the in inside the explorer, or as you see on the left side with the uh, net use and then delete command. And now we see have a pick. So I had different devices there. So it, there it is, net use and then drive and then front slash delete. So and after the, after I've done this stuff, then I then it connected correctly and I didn't have this problem anymore. Now, once again, when you want to run this stuff on the startup of your, uh, start booting of your uh, device, then you uh, go to the input command, say there, shell uh, double point startup. Then you are in the startup folder. And when you write a batch file, a batch file, then you may copy this batch file finally to the startup folder and then all those uh, network drives will be connected at the uh, booting of your uh, Windows system. So then, whenever you boot there, you will you will see that all devices are connected. And for for example, if you take the uh, P for pictures or anything like this. So and I hope I could. Uh, give you a small explanation there because I had uh, today several hours work in getting uh, the system connected with credentials. Uh, and if you if you don't like the commands on the uh, on the console then you are also able to do it in the explorer with a windows connection so that's uh, where is it? Uh, no, not this one, not net network connection. That's this one. Connect the network, and then you say, uh, for example, X uh, letter, and then the device name, backslash, and A11. That's the last one which we uh, finally uh, uh, added there. Now I say, okay, now, con now that's the dialog there, and you have to go to the uh, to the other user, type in the user, which was in this example ABC, and then the password 123, and now connect it, and you will see that uh, the drive is there. And if you have those two, um, two versions with, with credentials and without, then you will get two dialogues, and in both dialogues uh, it didn't work. So I hope I could help you finally now and if you liked it then uh, give me the questions, maybe I can help you.